Next question is from Nathan Teal. Are there any negative effects when consuming too much protein in one sitting? Yeah, the shits. Yeah, mostly, most <laughs> yeah. of the negative <laughs> effects negative. you get are going to be digestive, for sure. Uh, eating too much protein in one sitting for a lot of people can cause some pretty bad uh, constipation. That's mm -hmm. the biggest thing that I've noticed mm -hmm. uh, with clients. Aside from that, you're going to absorb the protein that you eat. I know there's a myth out there that says you can only absorb 30 grams or 40 grams of protein at a sitting. This is a myth that's put out by supplement companies. I used to think that was true. I know, me too. I used to tell clients that. Oh, yeah. you know, after 40 grams, you're not going to absorb it. Yeah. Uh, but that's a that's a myth uh, because, of course, supplement companies look at protein bars and shakes. How many grams of protein is typically in a serving? 30 to 40. Yeah. Now, so, that, now, that being said, though, uh, w wouldn't you agree that if overwhelming your digestive system in one sitting could hinder how much of the absorption of the nutrients that you get or don't you or well, like, if you get I mean, like, gastro distress right that's what i'm so yeah. that's what i'm saying so i mean there got to be some value or some truth to that right like if you go and have 150 grams of protein in one sitting imagine the size of the meal that that is that you're trying to digest and if you're if you have problems with digesting that because of how massive of a meal and you're ingesting like are yeah. you getting all the benefits That's like a huge brick in your stomach yeah well yeah if you're bloated um inflamed you got some low, low level inflammation or you get diarrhea um does that affect your ability to absorb things probably um will it affect your hormones probably sleep <clears throat> You know, um, I already said inflammation. So really base it off of your digestion. Now, for me personally, okay, this is just me now, I have way more problems eating too many carbs at one sitting than I do protein. I can eat a ma – and I've done this before. I can eat a, a, a massive steak that's 100 grams of protein, and if I eat some vegetables with it, I'm totally fine. If I eat, you know, 70 grams of carbs at one sitting, sometimes just it just really bothers me. So it's really an individual thing as well. A lot of my female clients mm -hmm. did not do well eating a ton of protein at one sitting. Um, it, this happened quite a bit when I would talk to female clients about increasing their protein intake. What, what some of them would do is they would get behind the eight ball. So they'd eat breakfast, they'd eat lunch, and be like, oh, crap, I'm, I need to eat you right. know, 70 more grams of protein to hit my target. Then they'd have this huge protein meal and they'd be like oh my gosh i was I, just destroy their stomach yeah i didn't feel good i couldn't sleep what was the deal and so i said okay let's cut that down and see kind of what your limit is um and for from in my experience it's for most clients it can be pretty wide range i've had clients who more than 25 grams bothers their gut um yeah. mo i've had people who can eat like i do you know 100 grams at a sitting it's not a problem well and i think too it's a, there, there's a training element to that as well i remember talking to christina rice about how much protein that she was intake and going through the carnivore diet and it just blew my hair off i yeah. couldn't believe it but uh you know she had gone through and like had all these uh you know autoimmune issues and things she's struggling through so this is something that really you know was helping her out but i, I was just like amazed that how how much protein that she could eat and, she, and she's tiny. Yeah, I, re I really think it just depends on how much it affects you. Like and and I and I have seen this right. Even if I have a client, because a lot of times too, Sal, like you have to be pretty aware to know if you have digestive issues. People just think it's normal to have like a you know a little food belly afterwards, or mm. and and sometimes it's a sign of something going on, right? Or you have some issues, but a lot of times people just or they have the shits afterwards, and they just think that's normal mm. to feel that way. So you have to you have to first become aware of that, right? Like how does how do I feel after I do this? Um, what I would notice with clients that would would cram all the protein in is uh, their lack of motivation to want to go do something afterwards. You know, after you like have a massive meal, lethargic. Yeah, you feel mm -hmm. lethargic and tired and lazy. Um, and even though their body maybe could digest it all and they can get their they hit their protein intake, but it now affects their movement and what they do afterward. If it's hindering that, then I would adjust what they're doing and mm -hmm. say, hey, listen, I, I know you get behind protein all the time and we're hitting this 80 gram meal right here, but we'd be far better off if we cut that in half and get it in. Now, when you were competing and you were eating, you know, 220, 30, or 40 grams of protein a day, which I'm sure you were hitting at yeah. times, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What were your increments? Did you find a number that worked well for you? I sure did. Yeah, right around, but it, no more than 70, uh, bet between 40 and 70 was like my sweet spot. So more than 70, you need to feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and that's also why I used to break the meals up. And, and and I don't know if it was a calorie and a carb thing that went with that too, if it was so much the protein thing, right? So I'm, I'm saying what my, my grams of protein was, but it was also 
my carbs. I never took in more than a, I could back when I was competing and I was uh, my body was adapted to taking in that. I was taking six hundred grams of carbs in, right? So I could get a hundred grams in a meal and be okay. Today I couldn't. Mm. Today, if I eat over 60, 70 grams of carbs, like you, I feel completely bloated and lethargic afterwards from it because now I've gone the other direction after doing keto and us kind of adjusting my macros. I haven't been uh, that high of a carb eater since I competed. So. Um, but I did notice a major difference in how I felt and how I performed by breaking up the small meals. So my body just, when you're eating uh, that many calories, that much protein that I was eating and carbs for that matter, um, it, it was a lot easier to take in these 600, 800 calorie meals than to take in, you know, four of them that were, you know, 1500 calories. That sure. just was mm -hmm. daunting. Maybe one meal here and there, it would be okay. But to try and do four big 1500, I would just, I would feel like a terrible That'd all day crazy. long. Yeah.